Hello, and welcome back to Road Trippia, the once-a-day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 924, the category Brainy Tuesday, number 61. Brainy Tuesdays are the 20-question trivia quiz with the question 21 tiebreaker at the very end. All of these questions come from various categories, but they are just a little bit more difficult than our traditional pub quiz that we have on Fridays. So good luck on today's Brainy Tuesday. Question number one. His finest hour came during World War II when he rallied the British people to victory as Prime Minister. What were the names of the two men with whom Winston Churchill formed the Allied Powers' Big Three? It was Winston Churchill, Joseph Stalin, and Franklin D. Roosevelt. Question number two. He served three years in prison where he began writing stories such as Whistlin' Dick's Christmas Stocking and A Retrieved Reformation. Who is this author who is most identified with short stories that end with an intriguing twist of fate such as The Last Leaf and The Gift of the Magi? His name is O. Henry. Question number three. His greatest generals, Narcissus and Belisarius, reconquered much of North Africa and Italy. What is the name of this Byzantine emperor whose greatest achievement was the legal code produced between 529 and 565 that bears his name? His name was Justinian. Question number four. 1939's The Cat and the Canary made him popular, and he went on to star in The Ghostbreakers, My Favorite Blonde, and a series of road movies with Dorothy L'Amour and Bing Crosby. Who was this comedian, known for entertaining troops with the USO and for his song, Thanks for the Memory? The answer is Bob Hope. Question number five. Consisting of all the author's novels and seeking to depict the entirety of French social life with some of the most famous individual works including Eugénie Grandet and Perry Goriot, what is the name of this collection of novels by Balzac which shares its name with a work by William Soroyan? The answer is the human comedy. Question number six, as legend has it, they were the result of Mars and a princess of Alba Longa in the 8th century BC. The children miraculously survived being fed by wolves and became leaders. Then one killed the other during a quarrel over who would rule the city. Who are these legendary founders of Rome? The answer is Romulus and Remus. Question number seven. Her original name was Virginia Hensley, and in 1957 she made her debut on Arthur Godfrey's Talent Scouts, where she sang Walkin' After Midnight. What is the stage name of this singer, the subject of the movie Sweet Dreams, who died in a 1963 plane crash? The answer is Patsy Cline. Question number eight. What is the name of the Croatian-born scientist whose coil was used to generate high-frequency alternating current and after whom the SI unit of magnetic flux density is named?
That Croatian-born scientist was Nikola Tesla. Question number nine. The play is poignantly concluded when one of the characters says, yes, let's go, but neither character moves as the curtain falls. What is the title of this tragic comedy in two acts, which features as its characters Pazzo, Lucky, and Estragon, written by Samuel Beckett? That play was called Waiting for Godot. Question number 10. Best known for works like The Birth of Tragedy, Beyond Good and Evil, and Thus Spake Zarathustra. In 1889, what German philosopher suffered a physical and mental breakdown that was probably caused by syphilis? The answer is Friedrich Nietzsche. Question 11. The Newfoundland fisheries remained American. The two countries would work on the slave trade, though questions of impressment of sailors remained unanswered. What was this treaty, signed long before Andrew Jackson's stirring 1815 victory at New Orleans, which ended the War of 1812? The treaty that ended the War of 1812 was the Treaty of Ghent. Question 12. After the main character of this novel is released from an Oklahoma jail, he runs into Muley Graves, who tells him about the plans of the townspeople. Tom then joins his family on the dusty trail to California, where all kinds of misfortunes befall the Jodes in what 1939 migrant worker epic? by John Steinbeck, that was The Grapes of Wrath. Question 13. According to legend, she fled Phoenicia for North Africa after her brother Pygmalion killed her husband, Sicaeus. In North Africa, she founded the city of Carthage and reigned as its queen. Who was this royal that committed suicide after Aeneas left her? The answer is Dido. Question 14. What explorer, who in 1611 was marooned by the crew of the Discovery, lent his name to a bay in northern Canada and a river running through the American state of New York? That explorer's name was Henry Hudson. The Hudson Bay and the Hudson River. Question number 15. An extremely luminous active galactic nucleus powered by a supermassive black hole. They got their name because they seem to be roughly the size of stars, though they produce too much energy to be stars. What is the name of the energy source that has been conjectured to be the cores of distant galaxies? Those are called quasars, or quasi-stellar objects. Question 16. What is the name of the lame-footed king of Thebes who blinded himself and went into exile before dying at Colonus near Athens? where he was swallowed into the earth and became a guardian hero of the land. His name is Oedipus. Question 17. In this poem, first published in 1915, the main character winds of having his life measured out in coffee spoons. What is the name of this poem by T.S. Eliot, 
in which the women come and go talking of Michelangelo. The answer is the love song of J. Alfred Prufrock. Question 18. During the 1066 Battle of Hastings that led to the Norman conquest of England, the Anglo-Saxon foot soldiers of Harold II were overcome by the Norman cavalry led by what man, who ruled England from then until his death in 1087? The answer is William the Conqueror. Question 19. During the last 20 years of his life, he worked on the 186 figures of The Gates of Hell. This project provided the inspiration for many of what French sculptor's most famous sculptures, including The Kiss and The Thinker. His name was Auguste Rodin. And question 20. Perhaps his most famous work was produced in 1934 with the painting, The Persistence of Memory. Who is this artist famed for his mustache whose paintings often contain watches bent in mysterious ways, a pioneering Spanish surrealist? That was a Spanish surrealist named Salvador Dali. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trippia. I feel like we had quite a few authors and their works, novels, authors, stuff like that today, which is probably good because it's warming you up for tomorrow. Tomorrow is a special episode submitted by one of our viewers. It is Horror Fiction. It's going to be 21 questions about literature from the horror genre. Really good. You need to check it out, but it's all books and authors and questions about them, specifically horror titles. So if you like scary books, old and new, Stephen King style, those kind of books, Tomorrow will be a perfect quiz for you. Hopefully you got nice and warmed up today. Here's one more question. We're going to do the tiebreaker right now. One more question about books and their authors. But not scary today. She won the Nobel Prize in 1938, becoming the first American woman to do so. Who was this novelist, best known for the trilogy known as The House of Earth, which includes Sons, a house divided, and the good earth. I feel like, in America at least, a lot of high schools have you read The Good Earth at some point in your language arts class. The Good Earth, as well as the other ones, are written by... Pearl S. Buck. And if I remember correctly, it was a pretty good story. The answer, Pearl S. Buck. Thank you for watching today's Brainy Tuesday trivia quiz. Check back tomorrow for horror fiction trivia. And then we're going to do another. It won't be fiction. We'll, we'll get out of books and we'll go to movies. We'll go to scary movies on Thursday. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. Have a good night.